Alicia Dickinson is waiting for this overdose prevention site to open up in downtown Nanaimo Wednesday because it's designed to save her life. This is a safe place for us to go and know that if we accidentally took too much or something that we would we have staff in place we have staff here work. but according to witnesses on september 12th the albert street site was a scene of a large drug bust by rcmp i was quite in shock myself uh they just pulled up walked in uh guns drawn uh walked into into the cage area which is our safe area yeah. right and grabbed two individuals i just seen them come in and and take them out the Nanaimo RCMP will only say that the drug bust happened in the area of the OPS and that it was huge. And somebody called us. And they saw something that concerned them. They thought some, they were trafficking. And sure enough, they were. They had a, a, hundreds of opiate pills. That initial investigation led to the arrest of a man and woman. They had prohibited weapons. They had cash. They had methamphetamine and a large amount of fentanyl. RCMP arrested 35-year-old Sarah Koshman, who in July posted on social media that she worked at the overdose prevention site, writing, new job working at OPS Nanaimo, with a picture of her wearing gloves inside. The Czech News couldn't independently confirm her employment because the Canadian Mental Health Association's Mid-Island offices that run the OPS did not return our requests for comment. People that are requiring services uh, need to feel safe as well. Karen Kubica, whose Nanaimo group advocates for public safety around service sites, calls it extremely concerning that drug trafficking could operate so close to a government-funded overdose prevention site. Uh, the fact that they could be very closely associated and possibly employed at the sites, and now that's public knowledge, it's very disturbing. It's, it's not what the public wants to see. Sarah Koshman will appear in court on Wednesday, along with her boyfriend, 30-year-old Jared Gregory Allen. Both are facing a long list of weapons and drug trafficking charges. Nanaimo RCMP say more arrests could still come from this investigation.